Maybe Mars isn't a dead planet. Maybe it's a sleeping one. Maybe it's watching. And maybe it remembers us. Because there are those who believe that the life came from Mars. That Earth was our second chance. A quieter one. Less red. More forgiving. It's a myth, of course, a theory, born in late-night forums and dust-covered books, but myths often grow from forgotten truths. Mars is quiet now, it has nothing to say, listen close enough, and maybe you will hear what it's been waiting to tell us all along. What if we have misunderstood Mars entirely? Not just its history, not just its geology, but its very nature. We see a world that looks lifeless, but maybe that's the trick. Not the kind you would notice, not the kind you could even prove. Because Mars has always been too quiet, too still, like a perfect set on a stage when the actors have left or before they arrive. Billions of years ago Mars had oceans, rivers carved paths across crimson valleys, clouds moved, seasons changed. If you would have been there in those times, it might have felt a lot like Earth, but something shifted.
magnetic field collapsed, the core cooled, the atmosphere thinned, the water vanished. But is that the whole story? Just zoom in. Beneath the red haze we found peculiar things. A pyramid-shaped mountain that casts a perfect triangular shadow. Craters that align too symmetrically to be random, rock formations that resemble What if Mars wants us to look away? What if the planet has been disguised? Something has changed in data, in images, in timing. Every time we send a new probe, we see anomalies, lights, movements, shadows where there should be none. We photographed landslides where no slope exists. detected seismic activity without tectonic plates. And then, in 2022, a lander captured audio from Mars, winds mostly, but layered beneath barely audible. Not mechanical, not natural, a pattern, a pulse, it repeated, it stopped, it hasn't come back. 